The 2016 Miss Asian Global and Miss Asian America pageant took place on August 20th at a new venue, the beautiful Herb's Theater, located in San Francisco's War Memorial Opera House. This year's pageant featured 29 delegates representing their Asian heritage from right here in the Bay Area to as far away as Hong Kong. The festivities began with each delegate introducing themselves dressed in their own distinctly native attire. The MCs for the evening were Miss Asian America 2012, Emily Tang, and KGO news anchor Chris Wen, who introduced Miss Asian Global 2015, Pamela Lajera, who sang a number for the sold-out Herb's Theater audience. I'll be there someday. I can go the distance. Then came one of the highlights of every year's pageant, the fitness or swimwear portion of the show. Miss Asian America Stephanie Lin came out to bid her farewell. Next up was the evening gown portion of the show, where the delegates were able to show off their style, poise, and elegance. You guys look beautiful too. Give yourself a round of applause. Pageant President Vincent Ma and pageant founder Rose Chung thanked the audience and delegates for their participation. The talent portion of the show featured an array of entertainment, ranging from martial arts and dance to classical piano. Then it was time for Pamela Lajera to take her last walk as Miss Asian Global 2015. Then all 29 delegates took to the stage as the 10 finalists were named. The finalists then made statements about what was important to them and were also required to answer random questions to test their ability to think quick on their feet. As the judges conferred and the scores were being tabulated, the audience was entertained by former X Factor star, singer Jason Brock, who belted out a few numbers for the fans and delegates alike. Then came the time for the court and runners up to be named.
Then it was a moment of truth. Miss Asian America goes to delegate number seven, Jessica We spoke to the freshly crowned Miss Asian Global, Gina Su, representing Hong Kong and Taiwan from Rolling Hills, California. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling amazing. I'm so proud to be here with all the amazing girls that were on stage with me. I really couldn't have done it without their support. Tell me what that felt like when they called your name. I have to say I feel like it's been many, many years of work. My practice in public speaking, building my platform, first getting lost with different jobs that I was feeling very unfulfilled in and then finally figuring out what I love to do and I think that really brought me to this moment and I'm just I'm so honored and I'm so thankful to my family as well. Is this something that you've dreamt about for a long time? You know pageants weren't something that I was interested in doing for a long time until Francis actually found me at a cafe and he said that this was something I had to try and that it would be a life-changing experience I found that it has been because I cannot wait to make greater impact with this title. What are you the most excited about? This is going to be a, a hell of a year. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm most excited about going out and speaking. It's one of my favorite things to do. I've learned so much about positive psychology and self-development, and I feel like a lot of people can hear more about this type of work, and I'm really excited to share that with more people. What was the most nerve-wracking part of tonight? I mean, other than standing there, you know, I mean, you know, you're waiting for your name to hopefully be called, but, you know, throughout the night, what, what were you most nervous about? You know, something special also happened tonight. Um, my parents and my boyfriend of six years, his parents, were meeting tonight for the first time in the audience. So I was nervous not only for the pageant, but for the meeting. So I'm glad there's something we can all celebrate now. D a little double jeopardy. <laughs> well, congratulations, yeah. and I uh, hope you have a great, great year. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Miss Asian America Jessica Lim represents Hong Kong and is from San Francisco, where she works for the San Francisco Giants. I was so surprised. So I feel awesome and I'm so happy to have met all the girls here, the amazing staff, and have my family and friends here. How great <laughs> is it to be in your city, San Francisco? Pretty good right about now. Let's hope the Giants won though. If you think about it, now you have a crown. Are you going to wear that around the Giants' offices uh, for a minute maybe? Um, Just once? Or? They've got a lot of bling there too, so I'm not sure. Maybe. <laughs> On the next day, the coronation event at Fort McKinley Restaurant in South San Francisco, three more delegates were named to the court. Miss Asian Teen, Miss Asian California, and Miss Asian San Francisco. Reporting from the 2016 Miss Asian Global and Miss Asian America pageant, this is Dave Gingona for Fan TV.